to my old brown earth and to my old blue sky I'll now give these last few molecules of Pete Seeger was the kind of man whose example inspires long after his death. From the 1930s to 2011, Pete found ways through his music to lift up hope, gather folks in common cause, and inspire action. Action on labor union issues, war, civil rights, economic justice, and the environment. Come learn what fueled his passion, hear the backstories of songs he made famous, and sing along. Pete and Woody took a detour to Mexico. Then they worked their way north through Portland to Seattle. Pete wanted to meet and swap songs with, with this guy. Viber right. Hagman, the founder of Viber's Clam Chowder and Restaurant, and a noted folk singer. Pete and Woody spent a week at Ivor's home, even cutting a disc on his home recording machine. One evening, Ivor took them to a song swapping party called can you guess it? A hoop name, that's right. They took the turn back east with them, playing at Union Halls and lumber camps on the way. With guitar and banjo in tow, Pete and Woody saw firsthand the lingering effects of the Great Depression. From his relatively secure and comfortable perspective on life, his eyes were open to the hardships and desperate plight of those out of work and those who worked long hours with no safety, no pensions, no hope of securing even a portion of the well-being he had known. Pete and Woody wrote and sang songs whenever and wherever they could, around hobo campfires, migrant camps, union halls. Many of their songs made use of existing melodies. For example, they took an old fiddle tune called Red Wing and added verses to make it work as a union organizing song. We're going to sing and play it for you on guitar and bowed psaltery, and you're welcome to come take a closer look at the song. Oh, yes, there be, I sing to the union. I sing to the union. Oh, yes, there be, I sing to the Like many who were summoned, Pete refused to allow Huac to violate his right of free speech. He calmly asserted again and again and again that the U.S. Constitution guarantees freedom of association. He said he had no reason to discuss his own affiliations, past or present, with this committee and that they had no right to ask about them. We are going to uh, Neglect Pete's advice, we're going to end with one of his songs, another one of his songs. This one's called Well May the World Go, and you'll pick up the chorus if you don't already know.